Hey there everybody, Eric from Outer Limitless coming at you today with another video. Now today's video, very cool because I'm getting into an unboxing, not just any unboxing, but an unboxing of a Kuyu backpack. Kuyu products are products that I've come to greatly enjoy, appreciate, and trust. I rely on Kuyu products to keep me safe deep in the mountains. I've used their products for a long time now. It's been a while since I've had one of their backpacks, and today, well, I treated myself to a bit of, I would say, a luxury. Kuyu products, you don't necessarily need them. There's a lot of other great brands out there, but if you can afford to go with a Kuyu product, you've really got something special. So that's exactly what we're going to do today. We're going to take a look at this backpack. This is going to be a little bit of, I'll call it a mini series. So today we're going to unbox this. I'm going to show you the components that I purchased, why I purchased, what I did, and maybe some other options that could go with this. And then in the future, I'll do a setup video so that you can see how this goes together. And then long term, I'll get this out on a deep mountain hike. But with that said, I have a whole bunch to do and a whole bunch to share with you. And if you're interested in seeing a little bit more about what I'm about to get into, do me a favor, stay tuned. Now keep in mind, Kuyu products really originate for the intended use of hunting. This is elite hunting gear by really a company that in my opinion is one of the best. Now again, there are a ton of companies out there. There's a lot of specialty companies, Kuyu kind of being one of them, but this is a company that I've just fallen in love with their gear. It fits me well. It provides me with exactly what I need. It's well engineered and pretty durable for the most part. I wear their stuff continuously. You've seen it on my channel a ton of times, but with that Let's get into this unboxing and I'll show you what I got today. And so again, as I mentioned, Kuyu products, more specifically for hunting, but if you've been watching my channel, you realize I'm into hiking, camping, and backpacking excursions. And when I found this company, I realized that their products would get me exactly what I was looking for in a well-featured, lightweight kit that really gave me the ability to load up my gear perfectly, yet not sacrifice on weight. And I usually carry a ton, a ton, a ton of gear. So what you're gonna see here are components to the Pro Series of bags. Now, the first thing is you'll notice I actually did not get any camel patterns. And interestingly enough, they sent this fully set up. I did not anticipate this at all. So my plans have strategically changed. And so as we get into this here, the Pro 6000. Now I ordered each of the components on this bag individually. They literally were separate pieces, but the people at Kuyu assembling everything into the full kit. So what I purchased was strategically the 6,000 cubic inch bag, the harness system, the belt, and the hip packs. All of these are components that you can mix and match and decide exactly what you need to fit your body style perfectly. And so when you look at it on the inside of everything, the main feature of this bag is the carbon fiber frame. So today, we're actually gonna mix things up a little bit. I'm gonna talk to you about all these components. And then in the future, I think what's gonna happen is we're gonna do a disassembly of this bag and a reassembly so that you can see it come apart and go back together. So today, we're gonna look at it actually all as one piece now that it's here, and then we're gonna move forward. Now, keep in mind, I have had Kuyu bags in the past. So if you go back through my channel, you will see that I've had a number of their products in the past. And the unfortunate thing, it's a double-edged sword. Being a reviewer, I test a ton of gear. I use a ton of different bags. And I let my Kuyu gear go in order to just move forward with my channel. But I've always thought about these bags. I've always dreamt about them. I've always just been disappointed that I never got back into them. And here I am a few years later, and I am able to get back into these Kuyu bags. Now, pay attention. As you see, I'm kind of unbuckling all of these buckles. This is the first actual feature 
that I'm going to talk about in a little bit of length. What I greatly enjoy is when I have a backpack that's tidy. I like tidy gear. I don't like loose things that are hanging around and getting caught and snagging. I spend a ton of time scrambling through brush and through trees and just moving around. And this is a 6,000 cubic inch bag, which is fairly large, all things considered. 6,000 cubic inches is like 98 liters. That's crazy. I mean, I usually carry a 60 to 65 liter pack and that's about perfect for me. So to have a 98 liter pack here sounds like it would be way overkill, but it's so light and it's so thin and slim profile because everything allows you to fully cinch it down and minimize the overall footprint. And the other thing that's awesome is because it's so narrow, it fits beautifully between your shoulder blades. And I love that. I love when a pack is narrower than my body because again, if I can fit through an area, typically my pack can fit through an area. I hate when my pack is big and bulging and just kind of unwieldy, but that's not the case with the Kuyu. So again, the 6,000 cubic inch pack, their buckles are fantastic, very well done. And again, I'm going to start to kind of undo everything here and we can look through all the details. Also keep in mind at the time of this video, this is the 2022 edition kit. So kind of at this time, sort of the most modern, there's been a ton of different iterations of this. So depending on whose videos you watch, you may be seeing a different version of this bag. So every single one's gonna be a little bit different. And this is quite different from the one I've taken a look at in the past. The other thing is keep in mind the last pack I looked at was more, I wanna say in the 7200 range. So it was actually larger than this. But at the same time, this has been sort of redesigned. And you notice as I've undone these clips, everything kind of opening up. So here, this is a side pocket, which is awesome. So this for me is where I would typically keep my food. Now the intention of this pocket is probably for like a tripod, a spotting glass, some basic essentials, or even water bladders. You'll notice if you take a look at the side here, there is a little zipper that's gonna allow you to route maybe a straw for a water bladder or something like that, which is definitely neat. I like that. But for me, most likely what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep my food on the outside of the bag where it's real easy to get to. That to me is gonna be a great option where when I'm on the trails, I don't need to dig any further into the bag. I like when I have kind of my food on the side of the bag like this, this should work out fairly nice. And the other thing that for me is gonna be great, as a reviewer, I always have a ton of extra gear. So the ability to leverage these side pockets and also these nice large water bottle pockets. So here, not just for water bottles, but I have tripods and different things I need to put in here. So that's gonna be awesome and you can definitely cinch these down. That's absolutely the case on both sides of the bag. So pretty much identical, one on each side. Now across the front, you do have a couple of ways to get into the bag. So as we zip this open, you'll notice the main pocket on the front of the bag. This actually has some little pleats, which helps to kind of keep things sort of tidy, but then it'll also bulge out when you need it to. So that works out very well. So a main pocket on this side and also on this side. So that could also be a great option for the essentials that you need while you're out on the trails. Maybe I wanna kinda slim down on the weight on the side of the bag, put some of my food in the front of the bag, that's gonna work out just nice. Hats, gloves, all the things that you need to get to quickly, even some optics, that's gonna be nice. And maybe even my camera battery. So all the little things that I need while I'm out on the trails, fitting nicely in these four pockets right on the outside of the bag. Now even furthermore, across the front, this is gonna be, looks like a mesh pouch on the inside. I would probably put my keys, my wallet, maybe even my phone, although I usually do carry my phone with me because I use the GPS and I also use it for photos. But a number of simple items, whistle, some snacks, 
different essentials. Again, very simple on the front of the pack. And of course you also have the head pack. So the top of this bag having this head pack. Now I can feel already there are some things in here. So this comes with a lumbar pad, which I did use the last time. So I'm gonna set that aside, I'll put that in. And then your pack manual. Oh, so this is cool. This is different. They've added this since the last time I've had a Kuyu bag and it shows you kind of how to get everything set up and fit real nice. So that's awesome. And again, here you have a couple of pockets. So a main pocket in the front. They have these little sort of Velcro keepers here. So that's nice. And then another pocket towards the back. Now it does also look like there may be a way to route. Yes. So you do have the ability to route a bladder hose through here if you need to. So very versatile. And the other thing that's nice is you do have the ability to remove this head pack all together. So if you don't want this, you can see it just leverages these little latches here for adjustability. And then the center one here, you just unclip that. And this entire thing can be removed. So Kuyu's modular as much as they are kind of integrated together, which is nice. And then the large main compartment on the inside here, you will notice a couple of things. This is made to cinch down or sort of lash all your gear to the inside if you need to. So I've actually taken my tent in the past and lashed it all in here and got it all bolted onto the inside. And at that point, I don't have anything on the outside of the bag, which is nice. You can take these straps off and use these in a number of different places across the pack. These straps are awesome. They're super easy to use. You literally just undo that little buckle and these come right out. They're super fast, super convenient. These are spring loaded and I have a ton of these and I do use them all the time with all my other packs as well. And as you see how easy that is to maneuver, that's just fantastic. I love it. Pro packs are a little more built out than some of the other models. So these have all the zippered compartments and all the extras. It's going to be a little bit heavier than some of the other models, but at the same time, more featured. So as you look here, number of different subdivided compartments. Some of these I'll take, some of them I'll leave. It's just nice that they're here if you do need them. Now, of course, keep in mind, this is if you open this entire thing up, you get to all these zippered compartments, which is really nice. But let's just say you kind of don't want that front loading bag, or maybe you have your compression straps all sort of cinched down. Well, the awesome thing is you do also have the ability to get into this bag more through the top. So as we take a look at it here, I'm just gonna zip this front compartment back and into place. But underneath the head pack here, you'll notice that did have that buckle. And inside your drawstrings. And this allows you to top load this bag as well. Now I'm not gonna completely undo this, but take my word for it, this will open up nicely. The entire thing will completely open up and allow you to top load your pack. So some people liking the front load sort of, and I guess I would call it clamshell design, and then other people liking a top loader. Well, the awesome thing about this is it is the best of both worlds. And when you undo the top of the pack here, it does actually give you a little additional capacity. So that is some of the magic that comes with the Kuyu bags. The fact of the matter is, again, multiple different options, multiple different ways to use it. It's kind of at the eye of the beholder, depending on what your preferences are, what you like to do, how you like to manage your equipment and how you like to load your pack. So very nice. And as you can see, tidying everything right back up, very simple. All the buckles are fantastic. The zippers work very well. I've never had any problem and the fabric is good and durable. And speaking of durable, Cordura fabrics. That is one of the things that you get with Kuyu products. You get top of the line premium materials all the way through their apparel. So their clothing is really engineered extremely well, but then you also get Cordura fabric on the packs, which is awesome. Now, generally speaking, all the Kuyu products coming in a number of different colors. This one here is Ash and Phantom Gray. So they always seem to have a little bit of a slightly different take from year to year to year. And that's also the case here. And something else that's new to this year's model that I did not have is this daisy chain molly webbing here, 
which is really pretty nice. Having something that's that simple, but just effective, really works well to help lash additional gear to the pack. And you'll notice all these little tabs, these are what those straps that I was showing you with the spring-loaded clips go on to. So it's really nice having this. And everything all the way around gives you some flexibility and versatility to really lash things onto the pack nicely. Now as we spin around to the back side of the bag here, you'll notice the harness system. This harness system is really second to none. It is phenomenally well done. I love the way this bag just contours the padded shoulders, nicely done, a little bit ventilated, but at the same time, just good padding. Not overly done, but thick enough that you can carry some serious weight. Remember again, the idea of this pack, it is a hunting pack. So if you're hauling out meat, like, huge amounts of meat from deep in the mountains, you need a comfy pack. And if you can do that with these packs, trust me when I say backpacking or camping and hauling gear, not a big deal. So again, you end up with the nice durable buckles, nice straps, awesome hardware, plenty of adjustability, and even things like these little keepers that keep all your straps, again, nice and tidy. Load lifter straps over the top and again the ability to unbuckle everything that is really critical and part of this system where you kind of go from your hauling mode to meat mode and when you go to meat mode you're kind of opening this bag up more to be able to haul meat. I don't typically need to do that and I wouldn't suggest necessarily doing it unless you really need to because it makes the bag kind of float around a little bit more but at the same time you can do it. Now as you move to the inside here, this is all adjustable. This is basically held onto the frame with Velcro and you can leverage the Velcro to your advantage. I'm not gonna completely undo it, but you will basically set this bag up to ride the exact size for your body depending on how you need it to. And keep in mind another thing, I bought the frame to size. The frame inside here is a size large. The waist belt and the shoulder straps, a size large. So for me, the ability to really leverage this the way that I need is because I bought everything to size for my body shape and size. And it's actually not a large frame, it's called tall. So the shoulder straps and the waist belt are really the suspension is the size large, but the actual uh, frame itself inside the carbon fiber frame is tall and they make a regular and they make an extra tall and they make all kinds of different sizes. So you really need to pay attention. I'm hoping I got this sized properly for me. It's gonna be hard to say until I get it on. But again, nicely done. Now, this lumbar is something that if you look from you know year to year, model to model, generation to generation has changed. The, the exact design is similar, but the fabrics have changed a little bit. The details have changed, the pads, the overall, this is like sticky. It's weird because every other sort of band here has a rubberized grip to keep things sitting in place. This is where you can add additional lumbar. I don't really even think I'll need it. This is so built out, but you end up with a nice lumbar. You end up with nice channelized ventilation. Just really, really nice. I love the way this fits. I love the way it feels and the way it sits off of my body. And then last but not least, these pockets, these little hip pouches. I just add these because I want a little something on my hips. And if I'm going to just buy the system, I might as well get this with it. It just builds this out a little bit more, adds some additional features, and is just real cheap for adding a little extra storage on your hips where you might need it. Now, to be completely honest, I'm kind of nervous because I bought this knowing what I knew from prior iterations. And when I bought this, I'm nervous that the waist belt isn't going to fit me. I think I got the frame right. So I got a frame size tall. I'm six foot one and this should be about right. So frame size, that feels about right. The shoulder straps and the way this all fits about right. And okay, so they say that the uh, large size waist belt really maxes out at I'd say the smallest that they suggest, about 32 inches. My waist is like a 32 or a 33, and I thought this was gonna be a little bit big, but it's not. It's gonna be perfect. The nice thing is, getting a slightly larger belt in my case, 
you'll notice that the padding wraps all the way around my hips. And as long as I'm careful, this pulls forward, which is another awesome part about this. So pulling this forward, these wrapped literally to the perfect spot right across the front of me. And even if I crank that down, I mean, I still have a ways to go and my waist should never be any thinner than it is right now. So I'm in real good shape. Now, again, you'll notice that this is tending to wrap pretty far around. I think Kuyu's intent with this would maybe not come quite as far around. So I would be maybe more suited by Kuyu's opinion to a medium, but I did get a large. So here, the suspension, size large, the bag, 6,000 cubic inches, the frame, the tall frame. So far, this feels about perfect. And the only thing better than the way it feels right now is having a bag full of gear as I'm heading out into the mountains. And so you'll see there are little things that I still need to adjust. And for example, I could definitely, you know, play with this a little bit, can get all my straps in order. This is not a bag that I think you get, throw on your back and think you're gonna get right out into the mountains and be okay. I think you need to have a couple of little sort of local working sessions with this to make sure you get it dialed in the way that you need it so it carries perfect. Like for me right now, you can see there's a gap. I need to take that Velcro. I need to move these shoulder straps down so that I seal up that gap. That is something that I don't want that hanging out. If I just took this bag, threw it on my back and hit the mountains, I'd have problems. So you can see just a little bit of adjustment needs to be made before I really get this out there. But the rest of this seemingly working out very well. I'm extremely excited to get this out into the mountains. So that pretty much covers the features on this Kuyu Pro 6000. And so again, as I mentioned, this is going to be just a little bit of a mini series with this Kuyu Pro 6000. This one here today, just a quick unboxing of general feature overview. So you can kind of see what I'm talking about. And then moving forward, the next video, I'm going to take this apart, fully disassemble it, show you everything in a little more detail so that you can see kind of how this goes back together in the event that you want to make alterations to your bag or maybe get another size. Because again, this is modular. You can add to this. You can take a Away from it you can kind of custom tailor it so knowing how the bag works and functions is definitely going to pay off in the end and then last but not least if the weather holds out hopefully before the winter comes i'll get myself on a nice mountain hike put this to some good use and really enjoy it out there that's the best part about this is getting a bag that you just love it rides well it packs well it feels great and you just enjoy getting out there that is absolutely the case for me and so thank you guys. I appreciate you following along. And if you like this content, do me a favor, take a look at my Outer Limitless 2 channel, which is more on the tactical and firearm side of things. At this point, that channel is growing quickly. I have a ton of videos up there. So if you like what you see here on Outer Limitless, do me a favor and check me out on Outer Limitless 2. So all right, guys, thanks for stopping by. I hope you like what you saw. I hope you found it a little bit informative. If you like what you saw, please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for stopping by. Take care now. I'll see you soon.